This video will demonstrate the performance of a Cronbox Alpha reliability test. This analysis is typically used when you're trying to determine if a number of individual items on a questionnaire or individual items on some sort of a diagnostic test or a test being used to measure some sort of a characteristic all measure the same characteristic or the same construct. So when we think about a construct, we're thinking about a characteristic or some kind of measurable um, trait or characteristic and what we're trying to determine is if all the items in a test or any assessment of some kind all measure the same construct. So if they all measure the same construct then they're going to be related to each other. If we discover that they are not measuring the same construct then we'll be able to see that when we do the analysis as far as their re uh, reliability or relatability to each other. So how we do this, this analysis is we go to the Analyze menu, we go to Scale, and choose Reliability. What we do is we move uh, all of the items in our questionnaire or in our assessment tool uh, over into the Items box. And we want to make sure that we've chosen the Alpha model in order to do the Cronbex Alpha measurement. Let me go to Statistics. And we want to ask for descriptors for the item and then descriptors for the item if or scale if item deleted. And we're also going to ask for the inter-item correlations. And this is going to help us determine if there is an item that is not related or is not helping to measure the same construct compared to the others. So we then click continue. Let me click OK. So the number that we're most interested in is this Cronbex alpha value. As you can see here, it's rated at a 0.855. The closer to one that value is, the more reliable it is. In other words, the more likely all these items are measuring a, the same construct. If it's above 0.7, that's considered to be adequate. Um, anything above 0.8 or so is considered to be optimal. Uh, and obviously, the closer it gets to one, the better. So what we can also see here, so that, that, that's considered to be a, a acceptable or reasonably high level of reliability for these items. What we can also see are the mean scores for each of the items. And then one thing we can look at is to see if we might possibly be able to improve the reliability or the Cronbach's Alpha score of this particular set of items by looking at the inter-item correlations. And what we look for is we want to make sure that the correlations between these items are high. In other words, we like them to be, typically, if it's above 0.3 or 0.4, we consider that to be an appropriate number or appropriate level. Um, if they're negative correlations, then that is a red flag. And if the correlations are less than 0.3 or if they're close to zero, then that would also be considered kind of a red flag. In other words, um, that this particular item is not correlating well with the others so that it's probably not measuring the same thing. And so as we quickly scan these uh, correlation coefficients, we can see for the most part um, item 1, 2, 3, and 4 have high correlations relative to one another. But when we get to item 5, we can see it has very low correlations compared uh, or very low correlations with the other items. So the correlation between 5 and 1 is less than 3. Between 5 and 2, it's close to 0. And you can see the others are also quite small. So that's an indication then that that item 5 is probably not measuring the same construct because it doesn't have as strong as a relationship with the others. And another thing we can look at to try and determine if removing item 5 would be an appropriate um, decision, we can also look down here at the last table where it'll tell us what would happen if we removed a particular item, what that would do to the Cronbax Alpha. How would it change, if at all? So originally our Cronbax Alpha with all the items included was 0.855. Now if we removed item 1, it would actually make the reliability worse. If we removed items 2, 3, or 4, it would also make the reliability worse. So it doesn't make any sense to remove any of those four items. But if we look at item 5 down here at the bottom, we can see that if we were to remove item 5 from the analysis, it would actually improve the reliability to above 0.90. So it would actually strengthen our measurement tool 
by removing an item that does not measure the same construct as the others and strengthen that reliability. So based upon this, um, I would make the assessment that removing item 5 would be an appropriate um, thing to do as far as trying to make this measurement tool as strong as it could be. That would only leave us with four items, but we'd have a very reliable measurement tool. So to summarize, we can use Cronbach's Alpha to determine if a series of questions or a series of measurement uh, items or, sc or scales all measure the same construct. And we can use this Cronbach's Alpha level to determine if they do measure the same construct. And we can also use the inter-item correlations as well as the item total statistics to determine if there is a single item or maybe multiple items that need to be removed from the scale in order to improve its overall reliability.